Pema Zella is finally in her home, but she says she's lost tens of thousands of dollars even though she refused to pay her tenant to go. I wasn't willing to pay even a penny for a person who is trying to scam, take advantage of the system, take advantage of people like us. Zella and her family had rented out their home for a year. But when it was time for her daughter to start school nearby, she gave her tenant notice. He refused to leave ah. and stop paying rent. While she waited Africa months for a hearing, her tenant offered her a deal. He said that, you know, we can negotiate. Oh, for my own house. I'm like, what do you mean we can negotiate? You already owe me more than $20,000. What do you mean? And he's like, pay me $50,000, I will get out next month. Can you imagine? I had, I had uh, pain in my stomach. I was like, what? Fifty thousand dollars for you to leave after you And you will get out? How dare you even say that? Because of those board delays, it took a year and a half for Zella to finally get an eviction order. Oh. But get this, this, is, this, when she came to deliver it, her tenant not was not here, but a bunch of strangers were. How many people were here when you came? This does not look like why one country with the eviction order. One, two, three, four. Four people. Yeah. And no sign of your actual tenant. No. But these people. The guy went had out to rent. other people yes. and rented them. <laughs> so those are the damage. Besides the damages, by the time they finally got into their own house, Zella's tenant owed forty thousand dollars in unpaid rent. And on top of that, she says, he made money off her property while she was going broke. You didn't expect this to happen in Canada. This is Canada. And there's no accountability to, to the landlord, to the tenant like him, right? Whoa. But we are suffering. Canada. Hardworking, honest citizen, trying to survive in Canada. We're, we're suffering for, for no apparent reason. This is Canada. You know, that, you know the, the story we always have is, oh, in America, in this European country, once you owe two months, one month, ah, the police will come and kick you out. <laughs> uh, as I always tell you, there is always something new to learn. I hope you've learned something today. I'm not saying you do it though. Your case might be different. You might just owe two weeks and you say, Oh, yeah, Ali, back out. Anyway, don't forget to hit the follow and give a comment. See you on my next video. Bye bye.